Hi everyone, welcome to OSK with 369. I hope you are all doing very well. So in this video, we are going to look at another skill station in the OSKI exam, which is administration of inhaler technique, which is administration using multi-dose inhalers. Okay. So as we all know, in inhaler technique, we actually use a device called MDI, which is multi-dose inhaler. Um, so basically, we will see how that goes today. As every other stations, we will start with the pre-check buttons uh, to provide privacy and dignity for my patient. And next, I will do the seven hand version as per the seven steps of the WHO guidelines. So hand to hand, back of the hand, interlacing the fingers, interlocking the fingers, tip of the finger, tip of the finger, left thumb, right thumb, left wrist, right wrist, and wait for 30 seconds to dry. My hands are clean and dry and safe to approach the patient. Hello, Emma. Hi. How are you doing today? Okay, Emma. So, my name is Arsha Sebastian. I am the nurse looking after you today. Are you comfortable, Emma? Yes, I am. Okay, so here I am, uh, you know, I am here to give you a inhaler, uh, which is due f uh, at 14 hours, okay? Um, so, it is today and it is 14 hours now, so I will give her inhaler now. Is that all right? Yes. Okay. So, let me check your identity before I proceed. So, can I confirm your full name, please, Emma? My full name is Emma Hargraves. Okay, Emma Hargraves, Emma Hargraves. Here I am checking it with my notes verbally and with the patient's wristband. Okay, Emma, can I check your uh, date of birth, please? Yes, it is 26-9-1963. Okay, 26-9-1963, that is right. And Emma, your hospital number is 12345-12345. And can I confirm your address? You live in Too Long Street, Northampton? Okay, uh, Emma, so what, uh, are you allergic to anything? No, I'm not allergic to anything. You're not allergic to anything. Good, Emma. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm just going to cut your equipment ready, okay? And I will come back with your inhaler uh, things. So here is your call bell. In the meantime, if you have anything, you can let me know. All right? Yeah. Hi, Emma. I'm back with all my equipment. So am I all right to go ahead? Yes. Okay, Emma, so because it is a medication, I need to check your, uh, you know, details once more if that's all right. So, can I check your full name once more, please? Miss Emma Hargraves. Miss Emma Hargraves, okay. And your date of birth, please, Emma? 26-9-1963. 26-9-1963. And your hospital number is 12345. Okay, so that is the right patient. As I said, I am with the right patient. Now, I am going to check my medications against the six flights of medication. So, I have got the patient details for Miss Emma Hargraves, 2 Long Street, Northampton. And she's date of birth is 26-9-1963. And the hospital number is 12345. And the drug name is Ventolin. Ventolin. Salbutamol, yes, inhaler, uh, 200, 2 puffs, uh, 200 microgram. It is prescribed for BD, so that is two times a day, and I can clearly see the doctor's signature, and I can confirm that Emma is allergic to uh, nothing. So, Emma, can I just confirm, are you allergic to anything? No, I'm not allergic to anything. Okay, thank you, Emma. So, as I said, I have checked the medication against the six rights of my patient, against the six rights. So, now I am going to give the medication. So, Emma, I have got the spacer device here. Uh, so, as I said, if the spacer device is not clean, I will make sure that I clean it with warm water. Um, and, as I said, is my tray clean and ready to use? Yes. Okay, so I, I can confirm that my clean uh, tray is clean and ready. And I've got the inhaler here. Um, so, Emma, uh, I have got the inhaler here. So, what you need to do is, you need to remove the mouthpiece of the inhaler. And you need to shake the inhaler for 2 to 5 seconds like this. Okay. And I am going to insert the inhaler into the um, spacer. Okay. And Emma, I've got the inhaler inserted. And I'm going to take the mouthpiece of the spacer now. Okay. And Emma, what you need to do is, you need to hold this uh, this part between your mouth and lips. Please do not bite this part. Okay? okay. Fine. So uh, you have got two techniques to use here. So the first technique is the single breath technique, where you need to hold your breath for one. Uh, you know, inhale uh, deeply and hold your breath for five seconds, and then take the inhaler in and then exhale it completely. If you cannot hold hold your breath like that, then you have the option for multi breath technique, where you put the inhaler into the mouth. Okay, breathe in and then exhale completely, and then we take off. Okay, and then we shake the inhaler again, put it back and do it again. This is called multi-breath technique. Okay, Emma, which one would you prefer to use? First 
Okay. So Emma, uh, I would uh, suggest if you cannot hold your breath for a long time, it is preferred to use multi-breath technique. So do you think you are struggling with your breath at the moment? Yes. Okay. So I think, shall we go for the multi-breath technique? Yeah, that's fine. Yes. Okay. So what I will do is, I will just give it to you. Okay. As I said, please do not bite and then hold it. Okay. And then depress the canister completely like this and take a deep breath well done okay i will now take out the inhaler and i will wait for 30 to seconds for the next dose as a sir if it is a different drug then i will make sure that i will put two to three minutes in between my next dose okay ma so can we go for the next puff yes okay again we'll do the same insert it into your mouth okay and then depress it completely okay well done emma okay so that is your two puffs done okay so emma are you comfortable now yes do you have anything else to be done no. okay emma so thank you i have done with your inhaler i will be here doing your documentation if there is any concerns then you can use your call bell okay and i'm here to help you okay thank you, thank you. So I will now make sure that I will signature, do my signature date and time. Please do not forget to do the documentation. Okay. And then I will verbalize to the examiner that I will dispose all my PP as per the policy. And I will make sure the clay is clean and ready, retry is clean and ready for next use. And I will make sure my patient is comfortable. Okay. So the points to remember in the station is this is a medication administration. So when you come back with the equipment, please make sure that you check the identity against the prescription chart two times so before on in your pre-check and when you come back and when you have got the prescription you make sure that you check your uh, you know the six rights of medication against the prescription before you administer it to the patient also make sure that patient understands the two techniques clearly and encourage the patient to use multiple technique as much as you can i hope this video was clear to all of you just to add upon if it's a community settings the only difference here would be you will be getting into the patient this will be a community chart here you are uh, uh, you know identifying the patient with the name date of birth nhs number and the address okay and then you actually um you actually do the same for the patient and um then basically that is the only difference uh, i think it is in the community chat okay so i hope this video was all clear to all of you stay tuned for the next video thank you and bye